the cost of flooding from Hurricane Matthew now stands at $1.5 billion. And flooding isn't just bad for your wallet. Flood waters can cause several health hazards. Joining me in studios to discuss the health risks that you need to watch out for when it comes to flooding is Dr. Taz. Always good to have you here. Thank you. Now, we do need to talk about this flooding situation, though, because we've got standing water that's been on the ground now for, in some cases, it'll be 12 days before the water goes away. What should we do if someone comes in contact with flood waters? What should they do? What shouldn't they do? Yeah, I know everyone's really anxious to rebuild, but remember their health risk to mm -hmm. standing water. One of the biggest concerns is infection. Remember, sewage can enter the water system, mm -hmm. so it can enter the drinking water, it can enter the water that's standing around. So you really have to be concerned about infection, watch for things like diarrhea. But most importantly, if you're coming into contact with flood water, remember to wash your hands, keep your children and your pets away from flood water, and really try to think about ways to you know, minimize your contact with that. All right, so, you know, other risks as well. What about mosquitoes? You think about bugs and everything else that are in these flood yes. waters. Yes, you know, we're worried about mosquitoes anyways, but anytime there's a flood and there's standing water, you know you're creating a breeding, ga breeding ground for mosquitoes. So things like the West Nile virus, Zika, that we've talked so much about, these are things to genuinely be concerned about. So how can you protect yourself? Think about covering, you know, co wear full sleeves, wear long pants, you know, use insect repellent. This is a time to use it and really protect yourself and not be afraid to use it, you know, to prevent some of these mosquitoes born illnesses. You know, a lot of us have been um, dealing with allergies just in the fall. Yes. Now, what about though with the flood waters? Does that exacerbate the risk of allergies? Well, again, with standing water, with water everywhere, you know, there's a lot of mold and mildew. You're almost breeding it. You're almost creating more of it in the environment. And we know that mold and mildew will trigger allergies. It'll worsen things like asthma. It can create sinus infections. And as it progresses, even pneumonia. So if you know you have allergies, you know, really trying to be conscious of cleaning your living areas so that you're minimizing your risk to both mold and to mildew.